Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to do a little Sunday market talk, talking about the weekend league sell-off that could be happening today and the severity of that um, with Team of the Season being here. Some possibilities for upgrade SBCs, including a TOTS guaranteed SBC, and as well, take a look at how to make some packs right now, a way to do that in a kind of a cheaper and more efficient way, as well as checking your clubs for a lot of golds and silver cards that are up in price right now. Great example is I just sold a Wolverhampton center back for 9.9K that I packed out of a um, a draft reward from foot draft. Um, all these guys I packed out of foot draft and I made my money back almost on that foot draft. If I can get this guy and this other guy to sell, I don't know if he'll sell. But 9K from a silver player from doing a foot draft, you might have a guy hidden like that Bennett card in your club. So I want to talk about some of that stuff as well. But first of all, lightning rounds and the weekend league sell off. I'm assuming we're going to have lightning rounds again on Sunday. They've been doing lightning rounds so far every day. Um, and I think that the pattern will continue here on Sunday. We're probably going to see some lightning rounds again. Um, and a lot of this stuff just got really, really cheap today. We're going to look at right now some of the TOTS cards in the game. The cheapest TOTS cards right now on Xbox are sitting at about 24,000 coins, 25K. Um, that is O'Shea and Clark. We're going to go take a look at Clark since he is the 84 rated version. Um, of the card that is out. I honestly don't know which one I'm clicking on, so this is probably, it's Matt Clark. It is Matt Clark, we'll find him. And uh, click on his card, because there's a lot of these cards right now that are almost looking to be investable. Um, although I do think they are still a bit inflated. Now, I remember I told you guys that to not touch these cards unless they do hit a value of where they are actually discard. Right now, this Matt Clark at 28,000 coins, his discard, um, Price, his price minimum is 20k on the open bid right there. And since they're putting out SBCs like that Aiden McGeady we got today uh, for 20,000 or for actually for like 45k, um, and we haven't had a requirement for those TOTS cards yet, um, I would stay away from investing in those cards until they literally hit discard value. Uh, here's the SBC that we got today. The Aiden McGee card, and it just requires way too much. I mean, you, you're not going to use this card in game unless you're a Republic of Ireland fan. Good for you in that case. Um, used to be a Premier League card. You know, we have the McGee spin. It's a decent card in all reality, but it's not worth the price of 47k. I would much rather you guys do the Odegaard SBC. This SBC literally costs like 15,000 coins. It is an 83 rated squad with one Eredivisie player. This is a very, very cheap SBC to do, and it puts a TOTS card in your team. I understand that's the TOTS moments card. It is different than the team of the season card design, which is just like what Aiden McGeady has here. Um, but, uh, you know, take advantage of a 13K, 15K SBC like that. Just stick it in your club. You never know when it could be useful throughout team of the season where we're going to have so many SBCs. Um, and stuff going on inside of this SBC section. I want to talk about one more thing. With the high-rated gold cards being so cheap in price, we're going to take a look at them right here. It is a great time to club stock these players, but it is also a great time to go in and do a couple SBCs. You see here we have Ozil, Verratti, Paris, these guys, 15, 16K is a great stock price. If you can get them during for cheaper than that during lightning rounds, I would recommend that. Um, the 85s are looking very club stockable, the 87s as well. And these cards hit their lowest during the lightning rounds during the day. So you can get your snipers out, get on the bids during lightning rounds today on Sunday and have another chance at getting these cards at their absolute lowest price. 84s are looking pretty cheap uh, as well. It's just a great time to club stock. And since these prices are so low, a lot of your SBCs are very low as well. I tweeted this out um, last night. But the VVD SBC, Player of the Year, if you have had your eye on this SBC, it is now up 909, but it was just 800K. Look at here, 840,000 coins at its lowest point, which was today during lightning rounds. If you watch this again, and look at this massive change in price. He went from 840K up to 938. So that means people are doing SBCs right now, in my mind. People are doing SBCs, the high-rated golds, and the informs are going up in price. Make sure you watch this SBC. It's probably going to rise back up over 900K again tonight. But watch this SBC if you want to do it or if you want to do the Sterling SBC. Watch those because Sterling is now, it was under a mil for uh, for a bit today as well. See, 930K. 
So watch that card and these SBCs if you are interested in doing that. Um, you don't have a lot of time left, but it could be a good time to get those for cheap. Same thing with Barzagli, if you wanted that card, or if you wanted the right back Valencia, uh, 203,000 coins. I did see this for lower, yeah, 180 at one point yesterday. So a lot of those SBCs are getting pretty cheap, as well as the Carlos Vela. I mean, you're paying 92K, it was cheaper than this, but you're getting a 90 rated card a couple packs for like 60 something thousand coins. Um, for that SBC, 100% worth it just to throw that card in your club and to stack it um, inside of your club. I think it's very worth it for that. So I want to talk about what else is going to be happening today in, in with along with lightning rounds. We are going to see more weekend league sell-off. And it's going to impact a few areas because people are actually playing weekend league this weekend. We haven't got any confirmation that team of the season cards or any variety of TOTS cards will be available as rewards uh, from the uh, from Weekend League rewards, but it looks like that is going to be happening in the future. That's what people are talking about. That's kind of the word on the street that we are gonna to see TOTS cards incorporated with Weekend League rewards at some point. And with these new Weekend League, or excuse me, with these new TOTS cards on the market, it literally just changes how the market values cards. So I think this was kind of the last weekend where we see a lot of cards retain their normal price. And after this weekend, we're going to see a pretty sizable drop off um, as people realize, you know, why am I paying uh, this much for this certain card when I can go get this other card and, um, you know, and get a TOTS card that maybe has the better or similar stats for a for a cheaper price. I mean, you're looking at TOTS most consistent and you're seeing a guy like Alex Tellez at 360,000 coins. What is uh, what is Sandro right now? Let's look up Alex Sandro's headliner card. I bet it has taken a hit, but with the stat comparison between those two cards, Alex Tellez blows him away, and they're still right around the same price. 367 for Tellez, 344 for Alex Sandro. So that just shows me that Alex Sandro has not received, he's not being properly valued on this market just yet. I know he's more linkable than Alex Tellez, but if you compare them, we got 94 pace, 84 shot, 94 passing, 89. I mean, it's not even a no contest between these two cards. Who has the better statistics? Um, it's just going to take a couple days here as we head into Premier League Tots and head through Tots Most Consistent for us to really get a good reading on the market and where these cards are going to drop to. Not really these Tots cards, but where the other cards on the game are going to drop to. So let's, let's look through some more Team of the Weeks. And I want to especially talk about some other cards that I could see get hit pretty hard just because there's other cards in the game now that maybe would not replace them, but they have stats similar to them that, uh, you know, that could cause some selling and some panic um, on the market. Now, looking at this most consistent team, there's not a a lot of cards in here that are super duper meta. This Allen card should definitely make some waves with Syria center midfielders or CDMs. Um, could make those crash. They have already some, uh, but they could. You could see some of those cards have more of a uh, steeper sell off this weekend because people would have a chance to maybe go sell their center mid Koulibaly foot birthday card, or uh, I'm blanking on some of the other. Uh, center mids from the Serie A that are out there, maybe an Inform 9 Golan. They would go try this in this uh, Allen card because, you know, you probably paid 350,000 coins for the flashback to Rossi SBC if you did that when it was in packs. Now you have a similar card for the same price. Um, not a similar card. You have a card with way better statistics for that uh, same price. So these cards prices are probably going to drop as well. Coming out of Weekend League, people are trying these right now. They're playing the game. They're giving it a shot. Um, but there's still a lot of time um, for those people to try out cards through the rest of the week. So it's kind of a mixture of we see this every promo. We see people going out and trying cards, but we also see people um, selling their cards after the weekend. So I think you're going to see a mix of it with these cards right here. Um, you can trade with these cards. Honestly, this Alder Wild, let's go check them out right now on the Xbox, but I did see him earlier today at 211,000 coins. And you know, 10 minutes later, he was 250. So if we look for the special Alderweireld, Alder um, the Spurs center back, 237 right now, there was one that is his cheapest. Open bids for 200, 245, 231. So we'll, we'll watch this one added to the transfer targets. I bet it will sell. 
I'll also add this 200k open start bid. If I can get that for under 210, I will gladly list it overnight for 240, and we probably should be able to pick up a decent sell. There's another one right there for 232 that's been listed for like 20 minutes. Um, so there's a lot of demand around some of these cards just because they're new. They're the first set of these boosted card stats. People are going uh, and opening packs. They're doing league SBCs. And that's the second thing that I want to transition to um, is talking about league SBCs. First of all, how you can do them for pretty cheap, but also how you can make a lot of coins off of checking your club and looking at a lot of cards that you pack in these packs. If you're doing league SBCs, look at the price of every single card that you are packing because some of these um, non-rare golds that you pack from these packs which are not being packed a lot during lightning rounds because if you go in the store and look at lightning rounds when people are opening up these packs there's no non-rare players in these packs these are all gold all rare players um, now if you're opening the 25k packs you're going to get some non-rares but most of the packs that people are opening are the um, 50k packs the 100k packs during lightning rounds those there are no non-rare cards coming onto the market like there are for rare cards um, so if we go back over to the, the SBCs, um, you can do a lot of these SBCs and get good packs for the value out of them. You can just basically go in here and look at the pack and say, okay, prime gold players pack, pay 12K for a prime gold players pack. That's either a 35 or a 45. I always forget between those two. 12K for that pack, probably worth it. Premium electrum players pack for 10K, absolutely. Small rare gold players pack for 24K, I'm not about that, but that would tell me I'm going to go look at some players in my club for Deportivo Olives. That price looks to be a bit high. There may be some golds for that team or some silvers that I could have in my club that would be going for like 2 to 3K. Getafe, nope, not a good pack. But even these 15K packs for 7K, I packed um, I packed Ter Stegen last night out of a 15,000 coin pack from one of these SBCs. You can basically just look through here if you know the value of the pack, there's websites where you can, if you Google FIFA 19 uh, pack list or pack values, it'll show you the value of the pack. You can say, all right, I know what's in this pack. You can look it up and say, is it worth it for me to spend 12K for a 30K pack, yes or no? That's a decision that you can make. I would say yes for that one because you might get a card out of it like I did for this Bennett where you pull a silver that's 10,000 coins and it's an easy 10k just like that. So that's one thing that I would um, advise you guys to do as well as just check your club. Go into your club and check through your your uh, rare gold players and just check and see. Um, let's just so go by league. Like the Premier League is one popular league that people are doing league SBCs from right now. So we'll go through here. Maybe El Yanusi. This could be a card that is needed for league SBCs. Is he really selling right now? 1,000 coins. Boom, he's selling for 1,000 coins. We're going to list them up for 1200 see if anybody bites. That's a very good example of a card that you could just list up like that that people would be doing a league SBC for that you can get a lot of money for. Look at this left mid Brady card. 2,000 coins? Dude, sign me up. Sign me up. 2,100 coins. Go through these. Oh, my. Oh, my. We got a Cardiff. A Cardiff Silver. 800. Not too much. I might keep that one. Basically, you can go through all of these cards just check your clubs. You see them with bids for 1K, you're gonna see bids for 2K on some of these cards. And like that one card that I found, you know, a couple thousand coins, that adds up. If you have a lot of these cards in your club that you haven't checked in a long time, it will be here going for about a thousand coins. Absolutely, we'll take that. We will take that for sure. I'll, text, I'll check Char as my last one. Oh my goodness, yeah, he's going for about a thousand coins as well. We'll take it. We will take it. We'll list them in a thousand. Boom. So right there, I just made about 5K going through my club and selling four cards that I listed up onto the transfer market. Um, and they will sell because people are doing league SBCs like crazy trying to stack packs. So that's a very easy way to check your clubs and to um, get into, um, you know, getting some coins and of course doing some SBCs. Now you don't have to finish these if you want to cycle it through. Um, I would wait until this Thursday to see what we get for marquee matchups because a lot of the reason why those SBCs are very expensive, if we go back over here to Footbin, you know you have SBCs like the uh, Valladolid. Um, that's hard to say, but it's 33K to, to complete this one and Huesca is 100,000 coins by itself to complete that SBC right now. All we need is a, a marquee matchup pack that gives out silvers 
from marquee matchups, maybe they, they put a lower level team in and they, instead of giving a premium gold pack, they give a, a silver electrum pack or a silver players pack. If you see one of those in marquee matchups, that's going to be a lot of supply for the silvers, making league SBCs cheaper and a great way if you have done some of these squads inside of a league SBC, that'll be a great way to complete them and reset them before Premier League Tots comes and you're going to next week, you're going to want to do the same thing. You're going to want to do the SBC packs that are useful, that are cheap, that are doable, um, and you want to try to reset the SBC and complete all of them um, in order to do those SBCs again um, at a cheap point if you can. So that's what I would say. If you're waiting to complete a lot of these because they're still very expensive or you don't think they're worth for the packs, um, wait until Thursday to see what we see with marquee matchups. And even some of these packs that you get from the League SBCs, they have silvers in them. Some of the Electrum player packs have rare silvers and rare bronzes in them. And you can get some pretty good pack pulls from those as well. Uh, one more thing that I want to end the video on talking about is I want to revisit the, um, the Guaranteed Tots SBC scenario. Um, a lot of those cards obviously right now are pretty cheap. We looked at that. You know, they were down... Um, at about 20,000 coins, 24, 25, 26K on the Xbox right now. Um, I'm still not a fan of these cards until they hit actual discard because they're putting SBCs out right now. When they put the SBCs out and when they put the players out in the weekly objectives, it really shows me that they're going to at some point require TOTS cards. Um, just do the Odegaard because it's 15K, absolutely do that. But since they're putting out guys like this Aiden McGeady, if we keep seeing cards like this, TOTS cards, um, maybe today we'll see a, a, another rest of the world, uh, an additional rest of the world card. I'm not sure what's going to be going on with SBCs during this promo, um, but if they make it really cheap, like a 30,000 coin SBC, you might see some of those TOTS cards drop a little bit more as well. It's just an idea to watch, not something that I think you should go all in on. As we sell another card, Boil for 550, easy coins right there. But again, it's a great time to be on FIFA. Right now, the mantra is just open packs and hit the lightning rounds. A lot of people are doing that. It's a lot of coins coming onto the game, and a lot of people are doing SBCs as well. I mean, you saw that with the VVD price graph that we looked at. People are doing SBCs. People are spending their coins, but there's going to be a market sell-off this weekend. As we come out of Weekend League, people are going to want to do packs, try the new TOTS cards, and, of course, get themselves prepped and ready for Premier League team of the season. A lot more videos coming up for the rest of this week, looking at the market and as well, um, you know, timing to buy your clubs, excuse me, to buy your teams, because that's very important to a lot of people, including myself. I want to be able to buy players for my team at the cheapest price, which I think you might see the cheapest price for the next couple of weeks or so, at least until ultimate team of the season. I think you're going to see those prices here in the next week before Premier League tots or on the actual drop date of Premier League Tots. But we'll be talking about that stuff. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Smash a thumbs up on it if you did. Comment down below if you have any questions. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.